Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, little extended series of uh, No Place Like Home where we are now exploring the new patch that gave us the desert. So I'm going to head out there now. We've got all of the planters uh, made but I wasn't 100% sure, if you remember last time, um, how to fix the water pipe. So I've made a water filter. I just made one just in case it... Yeah, just in case uh, only one was sort of needed. Um, where are we going? But I, that, I found one water pipe to fix. So let's go and see if a water filter will work on it. If it does, I'll go and make another three. If it doesn't, then oh well. Wow, it's got like a... There's like a canal going on, going on there. That's maybe why the boat is there. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> And my voice is going. Better not, I want to stream Animal Crossing later. I have to give it a rest. Oh, it's gone all... It's all do you know when your voice goes all funny? <clears throat> Probably just needs to go clear. It doesn't do me all the time, it's so annoying. Like, Avak never has this. Why does it not happen to him? The house of all fennex. Oh, I found the fennec fox's den. Awesome. This seems like it's quite a small area, to be honest. I don't think this is going to take me many episodes to, to complete. This will be a very mini, mini series. Not one of my usual sort of 40 episode thumping great things. Okay, another watermelon. Very nice. Right, so I just want to head over quickly to the pipe that's over here and see whether a water filter will fix it. If not, I'm not really sure what will. No. Okay. Hmm. Have a look at my quest log and see if it tells me more about that. Leaking sewage pipes and how she's disgusted by them. Well, maybe I have to find leaking sewage pipes elsewhere. And eventually that will make this into a lake or something. It's the only thing I can think. Because it certainly doesn't seem to be a water filter issue. Well, let's just dig around to see what else I find. Let's pop down some of these, because I've, I've made these guys, so let's do what we can do to start with. And I think I could put seeds straight into them as well, because I've picked up a few of those. And she said there were 16 of them. That might be her big project, though. Her big project might be to fill the lake. I might have I might have found her out already. Jana, I think I maybe found out what your big project was. So I need to dig up fennec treats. I wonder if those watermelons count as fennec treats. Let's have a look and see what they take. Yes. So that's why I'm finding watermelons all over the place. Very glad I kept them then. So I found two of them. But I haven't found another fennec yet. I can also grow watermelons by the seams of it to help with that too. So let's just carry on. Carry on carrying on. Cleaning this place up. Let's see what else we find. Okay, there is another fennec treat behind there. There are enemies over here as well. I haven't slept, so I've got like no health left. Oops. Ooh, a recipe? No, it won't be a recipe. Recipes are only in gold suitcases, Shelab, you should know this. that open the door? Yes. Oh, 
The amount of times I found sneaky ways into those places, though, <laughs> and, and then found the, the switch later and were like, oh, that was the way I was meant to have gone. Oops. Hello, you're a goat. The goat got trapped in sand. Perhaps I could free it using water. I found a goat trapped in a pile of sand. I wonder how the silly, no, oh, sorry, the little silly got trapped there. Anyway, goats would make a fine addition to my collection, so I should free any others that I find and make preparations for goat's cheese. I wonder where you would live, though. Maybe, maybe in a pig pen? Or maybe in a sheep pen or something? We'll have to uh, go and uh, make one of what, wherever you live. So I can get you to come and live there. So what do you need as well to tame you? Oh, y you... You, mister, need a watermelon. And you need a house. And before you'll even tell me what it takes to tame you. Okay. Probably cranberries. Oh no, I hate it when they put junk that I can't clear. Oh. It's terrible. Aha, that's a recipe. Watermelon salad. I needed that for something. Uh, was that the... I don't remember what that was, though, that I needed it for. It wasn't the greenhouse. I think the greenhouse was like a goat's cheese thing. Well, let's see if I can get rid of these enemies without getting hit myself. It's actually quite hard because their things don't show up very well on the sand. They're basically the same colour. I'll be a bit careful with that. Okay, my water's quite low now. So I probably should go back and take a little sleep and get my health and water back and everything like that before too long. can also give my inventory a clean out because you need to do that just every so often i did one at the end of the last uh, episode so hopefully there won't be too much in there now let's have a look no it's absolutely fine at the moment probably should have took a sleep when i was when i was back there doing my inventory stuff but oh well never mind random holes Doesn't seem like uh, Sir Cornelius has a, an area in the desert either. Oh, look what I found! A pipe part! Ah! That was the missing bit. That was what I was not finding. That's the first of the pipes we're going to be able to uh, go and clean then. I'm going to see if I can upgrade the bird feeder as well once I go back. So I do want to go back at some point in this episode. Although, with how quick this is going, I don't know whether um, this might end up... It might be a two-parter in the end. It's not actually a huge amount of content they've added. Unless it is. <laughs> Maybe it'll take three or four episodes, I don't know. I've still got the greenhouse to make. That's three of five of the foxes done. And the more cleaning up I do, the quicker I find all the bits and pieces I need. So that's another fennec treat. 
That's the fourth out of five, I think. And I think that's the last one. Nice. Grab this little bit over here because you don't want to leave bits, random bits. Can I get up there is the question. Doesn't look like it, so I'm wondering if there might be some kind of way, because you can't jump in this game. Ah. Okay. I was like, how do I get behind there then? There's always a way, so I was wondering if it was maybe that I would go up all the way to the top there and come back down, but it seems like, nope, there was a little ramp. Just hiding from me. It's giving me plenty of components as well in this area, which is quite nice. Because I know that that has been a bit of an issue. A shortage of those has been an issue in some of the previous areas. Okay, I think this area is done. We just need to come back for the goat once we've built the goat pen. There's my three little fennec fox dudes. So just got, got to find the other two. I think I found all their watermelons now. So just gotta find them. Let's free the boat. Aha! My next my next parts for my sewage pipe stuff. I have not found the location yet. Ah, another llama location. Hello. 20 glass. Might actually be worth it. Or 15 glass. No rubber. And, uh... I do have the wood for it, so uh, yeah, need some rubber scrap. Some glass scrap, and we can make that. And start alarming it up. Oh, purple one? What's in a purple one? Ah, just more components. Is that another pipe to fix, or is that... No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, just being quite methodical with it at the moment. This doesn't seem like a huge, massive area. Not compared to, like, some of the ones. Some of the areas are massive, and some of them are quite small. I'm just going to clean out this area here. And as far as I can tell, I haven't seen any kind of underground to this area. So some of the areas have like underground bits to them. And some of them are just overground areas. This one seems like um, like a fairly simple one. I, I've got a feeling the sunken ruins might be quite a... Quite a big one they're working on. They've probably released this one just to give us a taster of what's coming up. They probably just wanted to give us something before Christmas. Let's, let's put it that way. They wanted to give us a Christmas present. Early Christmas present. And uh, let us do this area. But I imagine the, the Sunken Ruins is probably going to be the PS de Resistance. So...
Is that one of the pipes to fix? It looks like a pipe, but it does not have anything showing me I can fix it, so I don't know. Like I say, I'm not someone who tries to get every single chicken and every single like pig and every single every single animal into uh, my farm. I only take the ones I need. I feel like that would be more sustainable anyway. Okay, I think I did all the stuff up top there, so let's just go through here. And I'm doing quite a lot of tidying, but I feel like this is how I'm going to find everything. New day has started. I'm going to see how long I can go without uh, having more health. <laughs> so far there haven't been a ton of enemies here and I usually, I can usually see them ahead of time. So I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. I do need to go, I need to go back to my llama locations now it's a new day and get all the glass from them. This is how we're going to upgrade these bird feeders. And like I say, I did want to make sure that I had everything done by the end of the last episode. And, and I did with the with one or two very notable exceptions. And I think one of the notable exceptions was that I didn't have enough glass for the bird feeders. And I was like, I'm not going to wait for that. Go, my fennec friend. Go and see your brethren and eat watermelons. I may as well put the planters and things down as I'm finding them. Why not? I'll clear them out first, obviously. So this is going to be another lake. This is going to look really pretty by the end, though, I think. Because we'll get all the planters in. We'll plant all of the, uh, the bushes in there as well get rid of all the trash and then eventually what will happen is we'll have this beautiful oasis we'll fix all the pipe work that should hopefully fill everything with water with a bit of luck did i run out of seeds i did okay i'm gonna have to come back are you trying to find your way home did you get lost i think you got lost All right, so that is one to fill. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's so pretty. I like it. I'm not sure how many I've planters I've put down or how many I've managed to fill with plants, but uh, we'll just keep on trucking. Looks like we've got a whole other area through here as well. I'm here saying that this is not a big area, but I actually don't know. <laughs> Could be huge when we get beyond that gate. Gotta make sure you pick everything up. Right, so. Whole new area, another shrub for me, lovely. See what we can find. I'm just busting on through here, I really am. Um, but I am sort of aware that I need to go and sort these llamas out and things. Part of me is like, I should just go back sleep to get my health back so we've got planters and things around here yeah I'm, I'm gonna just leave this area for now we've done quite a lot of the areas now I think there's probably one uh, pipe in every area or something this area is looking lovely it's looking so much better now So 
I want to go get the stuff to make the llama thing. Um, I also want to go back and get get the glass from the other llama houses. Ah, I can see trash everywhere as well. It's falling down the hill. Okay, we'll go and see the other llamas. Okay, we'll see all the llamas. All the get all the glass off them. Glass is still a little bit of a tough one to find, isn't it? So it's down there and down here. Yeah, so this is one area, then two areas. Let's, um, on the way past here, seems as we're going this way anyway, let's fix the pipe. I think I've got a second piece of, of pipe. And we can fill this one in. So that's two out of four done. Oh, it's looking nice. Oh, look at that. So good. Okay. Let's go get glass off these llamas. We should be able to get like 15 pieces of glass a day off of them. So that should be enough. Oh, once I've got the third one going. Oh, actually, no. Or do I only get three from these guys? I can't remember how many pieces of glass I get. Do you only get one per llama? You might do. Still left bits of trash everywhere around here, didn't I? Okay, llama dramas. What have you left me? Four. That's not too bad. Okay, so then I'll head back through to the desert. And then I'll head home. I'll grab all the glass off the llamas at home. And then we're going to make the... The desert, we're going to do up the desert llama place, and that is going to be. I'll need to pick up some rubber and some glass for it. Mustn't forget rubber and glass. How did I leave so much trash lying around? I've no idea. But yeah, I always thought that that area looked like it should go somewhere more. So yeah. That, that was always their plan, wasn't it? Clearly. I don't know if those will ever, like, grow up. Got one more fox to find. So we've got four of them there now. We've got one more to go. I think we'll definitely have a third episode, possibly a fourth of this one. It'll, it'll be a mini mini series, but it won't be that mini. Okay, so I want to go and get my glass off my llamas. Oh, they only left me two. That sucks. Oh, maybe it's only one a day off each llama thing. Regardless. I know I've got... Oh, yeah, we've got quite a bit of glass now. That's wonderful. Let's get some rubber as well. Where I put it? There we are. Inventory's still looking reasonable. I'll let it totally fill and then totally clean it out. Ah, yes, that looks like a the start anyway of a um. Ah, right. I was making a library of the actual veggies as well, so beets need to go in there, and so does that wheat. I was making a seed library. But I was also making a stuff library. Now the watermelon I need for the last fennec fox. But it looks like I've got some more watermelon and cranberry seeds. So let's get them planted. 
I should take a sleep as well. Um, watermelon seed. Cranberry seed. A whole load of trash as well. Oh man, I'm gonna end up sorting all of this out. You know, you know I am. Can't help myself, can I? Cranberries. I'm being a bit disorganized with this, I know, but doesn't really matter too much where I plant them, does it? Okay, so I'm gonna just quickly head over and. some trash in here because while I'm at home I may as well do that oh, I always do this I end up getting the ones at the back instead of the ones at the front I hit the wrong one So these two haven't got anything in them. I mean, it just it does. Ha Every time you do a little bit of recycling and stuff like this, it, it helps keep that inventory that little bit clearer. Okay, so I've got all my glass and got all my rubber. So let's go and make another llama house. Um, so I'm just going to go straight over there, make the llama house, and then come straight back and start making bird feeders. That was something I really wanted to do. I've done a lot of cleaning up of this new area, so I figure I'll just get on with some of the other little projects I wanted. Where was this llama house? I'm sure it was around here somewhere. Hello llama house, where are you? So you, it might take a day or so to get fully upgraded. Also seems to have like some trash behind it that I want to grab. There we are. Aha, there's also a chest there. Worth it. So how am I doing my quests now? I have done... Two out of four of the pipes, eight out of 16 of the planters, four out of five of the foxes, and I haven't done any goats. Oh, I needed to make sure about the goats, didn't I? Okay, so bird feeders and goats. That's what we're going to go back and do now. But now I know any glass that's left over from the um, llamas uh, can be used for bird feeders. So that's why I wanted to just make sure I didn't want to, like get it wrong or anything so I wanted to upgrade the llamas first and then go for bird feeders so let's have a look and see if I can make a bird feeder upgrade I'm sure it was one of these was it no it wasn't okay one of these farming uh, animals there we are so I've got 56 out of 20 and then another 20 yeah I should have enough for the full upgrades on it so is that just a normal... Yeah, that is a normal bird feeder. Right, okay. So. Bird feeder upgrade. Da, 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 da. And then bird feeder upgrade two. Da, 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 da. So it'll take a little while to do a bird feeder upgrade one and we'll be able to see what uh, difference that makes. I think I'll be able to put more produce in it and get more seeds out probably would be my guess. And then I need to find out where goats live. So this is the next thing. So pigsty, cow shed, chicken coop. So what are the what are the sheep in then? Hmm. 
an upgrade is not a decoration. It's not basic. It's definitely an animal thing. It's definitely not a cubot lodge. It's probably another cow shed then, isn't it? Let's go check. So that's definitely a pigsty. The sheep are definitely, yeah, they are definitely in a cow shed. So, okay, let's go and just double check that there's no particular, like, goat shed or anything like that. Because there might be, and I might have forgotten about that. If not, then I need to make another cow shed for them. Also, I can go and have a look at a goat and see whether it looks like a cow shed that they're, that's above their head. So let's go and check that out. Let's make sure what it is I need to do. How's my llama house coming along? Third of the way, that's pretty awesome. Right, so there was definitely a goat round here. Somewhere. Oh yeah, just around the corner here, wasn't it? This is the first goat I've seen, so... Does that look like a cow shed? Yeah, it absolutely looks like the cow shed, so I don't think there's a new building for them or anything. I think it is just a cow shed. I need to put another one down somewhere for them to live in. So an olive oil press and a greenhouse. So the olive oil press we'll be able to get once we can make the watermelon salad, which we do have the uh, recipe for, but we don't have the goat's cheese bruschetta quite yet. But I do need to get the goat's cheese in so that I can build the greenhouse. Um, apparently there are still some bugs with the greenhouse. We'll be a bit careful of that. So let's go back and make another cow shed ready for the goats, and then we can start sending them back, and, and we can start working out what they need as well. I'm also going to take a sleep and get my health back and get my water topped up. Get water topped up. I don't know where I'm going to put this cow shed though. We're getting a little bit cramped around here. They might have to go somewhere else. I'll make it and then I'll have a look where I think I might want it to go. Um, so I need some glass and some wood. Okay. I'm, I may have made a slight mistake there. <laughs> Might need to sleep in, in fact a couple of days just to get the glass together. I need four more. So I'll go and check the two locations. Oh, I can't believe I needed glass for the cow shed. Ah, this is what happened last time. This is why I've got them all set to making glass though. So. Uh, I've still got an area to clear out though as well, so that might help too. But there's two here. I might just need to go and grab some more glass from the other, the other llamas as well. And that probably will be enough actually to make a cow shed. So that's fine. Let's go see them. I actually think going through the desert is the faster way to get to that particular area. I could be wrong though. Maybe there's not much in it. But yeah, we'll go get the glass off those guys. Um, we'll come back and we'll make a cow shed. And then I'll finish off that other area. Or cleaning it anyway. Look how pretty it is though. I'm... <laughs> I am kind of like aesthetically very pleased with this. I mean, considering Janet is the aesthetic one, uh, I guess they needed to make it pretty, but no, there's a really nice sort of feeling about the desert oasis sort of feel to that. Whereas this area still looks like 
still looks like it's junk. The swamp. It's still full of junk and it's horrible. I want to clean every bit of junk. I don't want random decorative bits still left. Ugh. No. Let's just have a quick look a second. I want to look at my collectibles. And see. We still have a missing um, thing of feathers, okay? Oh, look, there's, there's all the glass I will need. Just got enough. But it was, I'm sure it was meant to be around just this next one along. So let's see if the bird nest has been fixed there yet. It was meant to be a bird's nest. That's it. Well, I even showed you guys where it was. It was meant to be down there, wasn't it, somewhere? But again, it might take a whole new replay to get that bit fixed anyway. It was supposed to be somewhere around here. But no, it doesn't seem to be there. Um, and like I say, I am playing still on a save that was created with a bugged bird's nest. So, uh, you know, you don't always, it doesn't always get fixed. It might not even be fixed, and they may have even moved the bird's nest from where it was supposed to be, so... I'll probably go for that one another time. But yeah, we got enough for the, the, the goat shed now. I'm gonna call it a goat shed, but it's a cow shed, adapted for goats. I wonder if they will put like, new buildings in for the sheep and the goats. Whether they will just carry on being in the cow shed. I'll be interested to see when it uh, fully releases. Okie mok dokie then. Let's head back home. Make a cow shed. Find a place to put it. Like I say, space is getting tight. They may have to go down in the village somewhere. That's fine though. I don't mind them being in the village. They can wander amongst the orange trees. But yeah, we've got enough glass now to make the cow shed. Wonderful. Grab a few more bits of wood. This one? Yes. And we're good to go. Cow shed, here we come. And I've just got to work out where I want to put it. So I'll go and have a look amongst the, the other critters and see if there's room there. Obviously we've got Q-bots and chickens and things here. And we've also got a couple of uh, pig styes and things around here. And there is room here, maybe, to put the goats in. It would be nice to have them all together if possible. Well, let's just see how it fits, if it does. Yeah, I could totally get it in there. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, right, well that will be where the goats will go. I need to go back now and see what the goats want to eat. My gut instinct is it will probably be cranberries. Um, the cranberries are still not quite ready. That one, that first one might be ready in a day or so. Because it's gone from flowering to having fruit on it. So maybe it's close. But other than that, we can just carry on uh, putting down the little sand things. The little planters for a few minutes. Um, oh, there's junk up there and it's going to annoy me. Until I get rid of it. There we are. Okay, so let's go and find that goat now. And hopefully now I've got room 
It'll tell me what it wants. Hello, little goat. What is it you want? Oh, surprise, surprise. You want cranberries. <laughs> okay, so I'll have one goat there probably uh, next episode. I might even have all of them there next episode. You never know. We do have quite a few days per episode in this game, actually. We still got one more fennec fox to find. I've got his little, uh, his little watermelon already. I do. I think I need to find another pipe piece. I don't think I've got spare pipe pieces. I've done two out of four. Hmm. I wonder if there's another area beyond this one. This seems to me like area three. Oh no, you're stuck in the mud. It's sorted. Again, not a ton of glass. They really wanted to make glass rare. I wonder if that was as a reason to um, put llamas in. I wonder if glass is supposed to be why you, <laughs> a reason why you need llamas. So I've got to tidy this up and at least until I find the pipe and also until I find the pipe piece. And then obviously I'm going to tidy it all up because I, you know, I wouldn't just leave it. That's not Ellen's way. Ellen's way is to tidy everything. There kind of is a reason to tidy everything here though because that's how you uncover the planters. It's how you find the watermelons. It's how you find uh, the, uh, the seeds to put in the planters. It's how you find everything, so... You do kind of need to. Oh yeah, there is another area. I knew it. I knew there would be. Oh no, floating glue. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. So far so good with floating pieces though. That's not, you know, they seem to have been very aware of that. How annoying it is at least. Oh, another seed from a planters. I know there's at least one planter that I've put down without a seed to go with it. Aha, this will be the goat's cheese bruschetta recipe. Oh no, it's Hasselback potatoes. What? Well then, have to keep looking, I guess. I mean, I've got nothing against Hasselback potatoes. They are rather delicious, but uh, they're not what I need to make a greenhouse. And I do want to make a greenhouse before the end of this. I don't know what a greenhouse does, but it sounds cool. I might have to put the greenhouse in the village. <laughs> or rearrange my farm a little bit. Hello, thirsty, thirsty goat. Actually, you're not thirsty, you're just stuck. But you probably are really thirsty, actually. Okay, I have a pipe, but I have no pipe piece. Wow, a whole case full of books. Wonderful. Yeah, I wonder where that pipe piece has gone. Because we have nearly cleared the area now. It's in a little hidden part. Oh, if I was going to hide it, I'd hide it up here. Oh, absolutely. Yep, 
Yes, this is where I would hide it. Oh, they hid a goat up here. Oh, okay, they hid a, a, a chest there, the, the uh, suitcase. There's suitcases in this. Or hat boxes, as the round ones are probably uh, used for. Or were used for before everyone went to Mars. I knew they'd hide it here. I always feel like it's a nice thing to do to like get everywhere nice and clean and uh, clean the whole area out, right? And then put the pipe in. I feel like that's a really nice thing to do. Let's get all of this junk up off the ground because I've left little bits sort of scattered around everywhere. And we don't want any of it getting into the lake either because that's just annoying. Those last two. And Wonderbar. I don't have a seed for that one, unfortunately, so I'll have to keep looking for that. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's get the pipe done. Oh, well, that one is a little uh, more underwhelming. Is it round? Oh, that's better. Yeah, it goes all the way around. Okay, I'll let it off. And there's also one here. So I need to get, keep my little eyes peeled for... Uh, other ones, I really do. Okay, so that's that area done. With the exception of this little bit that I can't get to. Ah, it had a desert seed in it. No, all the trash fell down. There was not much I could do about that though because of the positioning of it all. I need to send the llamas to the llama house because it, it seems to me like the llama house is done now. Wonderful. Okay, well, that seems to me like we've done that area, and uh, we have one more area to go. We've uh, started, we've put the, the, the goat's house together, uh, we've done the llama's house, so we need to go and just give all the llamas a load of batteries next episode, and we need to grow the cranberries, finish off growing the cranberries for the goats, um, and quest-wise, we've got five quests already that we know what we're doing with. So we've got one more pipe to fix. We need to do all of the planters and get the, uh, the the bushes in there, find all 16 of them. We need to find one more fennec fox, which will probably be in the next area. And uh, then we've got to go around and tame all the goats with the cranberries. Once we've done that, we'll be given, I'm guessing, two more quests to... I don't know, because I was thinking that maybe filling the lakes would be the would be the great thing, but it's not, is it? Because that's what the sewage pipe fixing is. So there's going to be some grand thing to do after that. And then also I will need to build a greenhouse. So we've got a few things to do. Pro probably, I would expect a couple more episodes at least. So I, I reckon we're looking at a four or five episode of this one. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.